What's good, everyone? Once again, once again. I was watching this movie yesterday called The Expendables with Sylvester Stallone, Jet Lee, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the guy on Everybody Hates Chris. He's like the dad on that show. And a couple other guys. It's like an all star cast of action heroes. Don't want to ruin it for you guys, especially the ones who haven't seen it. Um, but I will say that the action scenes in that movie were unbelievably sick. So, if you haven't seen it, and if you want to see it, you should definitely check it out. It's a really cool movie, for the most part. I do believe in parents disciplining their child or children. Um, but you have some parents that discipline their child or be hard on their child just for the sake of being hard on their child it's not like like you have the parents that that are hard on their child especially if you have a son but you tell your son that hey the reason why I'm hard on you is because I don't want to see you end up in prison I don't want to see you end up making a lot of bad decisions or I don't want to see you dead so this is why I'm hard on you yeah I'm hard on you to a certain extent but I still love you and that's the reason why I'm being hard on you because I don't want to see you make the same mistakes that I made but then you have the parents that are hard on their kids just for the sake of being hard on them it's like they're just cold towards their kids it's like they don't even trust their own children and their children could probably try to do everything right in the eyes of their parents whether it be the father, the mother, or both parents depends and it feels like they still can't do anything right by their parents they still treat them like crap and then this hate develops inside of them that makes them hate their parents because of how the way they treat them. Like some parents, they think that their children are stupid and that ch their children don't have the intelligence to see or to understand what's going on around them in their environment. But kids are not stupid. They're very observant of everything. It's just that some of them don't say anything it's because they don't want to get you mad or they don't want to offend you because they really love you or care about you but then that love and care turns to fear and then that fear turns to hate yeah they might fear you but they don't love you or they don't respect you because of your overbearing ways and that's the problem with some parents like they treat their kid it's kinda like how a slave master would treat a slave only thing is they don't have to worry about being whipped on the back or having chains around their foot, their feet, and the other brutalities that they had to go through back then that don't exist in this time. But they treat their kids as if they're not more than just property. And then you have the parents that try to teach their kids one thing, they try to tell them don't do this, but they're doing the very thing that they told their kids not to do. And their kids notice this but they don't address this to their parents because they might worry about their parents might give them a whooping or try to play a guilt trip on them and try to tell them that you know I pay the bills such and such you should be grateful that you're living with me you know try to play the guilt trip on them to justify their negative ways like some parents are so contradictory it's not even funny but they think that their child or children are too stupid to realize that and then their children get grown and get older and then they wonder why their children hate them so much like it's a shame when somebody's child or children feel like a prisoner in their own environment at home the one place where they should feel safe and secure and they don't even feel that there you know they have to deal with everything they have to go to school and deal with you know ignorant kids then come home and deal with you know overbearing overprotective parents that's that's just cold to them I mean it's just cold on the inside and this is one of the reasons why you have children or a child who grows up to a certain age and they just can't wait to get away from their parents because of that right there now I'm not saying that a father should you know treat a son treat a son like his homeboys or a mother should treat her daughter like she's one of her girlfriends I'm not saying that at all it's just that some parents 
they take it too far when it comes to discipline or they like I said before you know they're overprotective and they're overbearing of their children and child and then their their children become paranoid and they feel like they don't have no privacy and they don't feel like they can be themselves and I believe that's how shy people are created just one of the ways that shy people are created in my opinion so to the parents that's you know disciplining your child but you know you love your children um, much love much obliged to you guys but I truly feel sorry for the child or children whether it's a, a boy or a girl who have to go through that type of environment where their parents is you know overbearing to them and treat them like crap and discipline them just for the sake of discipline them and they don't feel any love from their own parents you know it's sad so you guys take it easy you guys have a blessed one thanks for listening peace